So Apple's WWDC 2020 kicked off today and there was a ton of new stuff for all, all the Apple fanboys and fangirls to kind of dig their claws into. So in the next two minutes, I'm gonna tell you, or less, next two minutes or less, I'm gonna tell you all the new things in iPad OS and then talk about whether I like them or not. The first thing that Apple showed us for iPad OS is that they added a sidebar to their native apps. Seriously, how is that the first feature to be shown? You added a menu bar to your apps. Next, they showed us that they changed the UI for Siri. It's now a tiny dot instead of a giant screen that fills up the entire thing and doesn't actually do what you ask it to do. Call notifications are now just that, notifications that just pop out from the top of your screen right instead of blocking out on your entire screen. Now, I'll be honest with you, I didn't realize how annoyed I got every single time somebody called me on my iPad. Now, the search feature on iPad OS has been updated and is now called Universal Search. Now, this feature looks interesting. You get deeper search, you get searching apps, and honestly, searching for an app is way better than whatever app garbage can that Apple's decided to promote for iOS 14. Basically, instead of going with a search response you get from an iPhone, you're gonna get a search response like you would on a Mac. But still, better searching means using your device is just gonna be better. Next up was this thing called Scribble, which is basically a giant version of Scribble that you have on your Apple Watch, if you have an Apple Watch. Scribble sounds cool, but let's just be honest here. It's just handwriting recognition on steroids. Seriously, we get to write out our search queries instead of dealing with the stupid on-screen keyboard? Awesome. We get to cut out our handwritten notes and paste them as typed text? Awesome. We get to do Chinese characters now right beside English characters? Awesome. So that's basically all the new things that Apple announced for iPad OS. Well, in under two minutes. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. For iPads, I've been doing a ton of keyboard reviews for them. I just reviewed the last keyboard was the Bridge Pro Plus. Yeah, that was terrible. Um, but I've got a ton of other keyboards that I'm going through right now. So do check out that playlist or just subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. So every single time I do a daily tech review, which is crazy, you get notified. So what do I think about iPad OS 14? I like the updates to this product class better than I did the iOS 14. Mostly because there's still room for the iPad to expand and to kind of grow. Like Apple's kind of going the way of, you know, merging their laptops and tablets together, it looks like. Um, but with Scribble, with the Apple Pencil, it's already a great, the Apple Pencil by itself is already a great stylus. Being able to turn handwritten notes into type text, I don't actually know who's gonna use that because I know I'm not gonna be able to use it that much because I do a lot more typing than writing. And honestly, I've been reviewing all of these iPad cases and I half the time I really wish they don't have spots for the Apple Pencil because I just don't use it that much. Mostly because writing on glass is terrible. Anyways, this video brought to you by Paper. No, it's not. Channel's unsponsored. I don't do stupid stuff like that. But overall, pretty excited to see how Apple evolves iPad iPad OS from iOS. Um, I think there's a lot of opportunity there. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but this handwritten scribble stuff, pretty cool. First time watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, this is my co-host Monty. He is the brains behind the entire thing. So, see you later. Well, not you, we still got more videos to make.